antagonize them too much. One recent revolt is enough to keep them not revolting. And I don't think there's anywhere that I reduced autonomy because I don't have enough power, money, or revolt risk reduction to really deal with that just yet. So, I would still like to get a bit more ships on the go. We'll mothball what we have for now, or better, better than mothballing them, we will just turn down fleet maintenance. The same amount of saving, but we don't actually lose any, um, what is this even called? Their hit points, I guess? Soon we'll get Serbia and Bulgaria inside of us. It will be tempting to clamp down on the autonomy, but I probably won't anyway. Hmm. All is well. Wait, when do I actually want to start integrating you? One and a half years. Yeah, give me a poke in the shoulder at about 1509. Wow, chat is nothing but red. Don't forget to check the annexations once you have zero overextension. Eh. Alright, Costa Monu looks too good for us not to take. Hull integrity. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sounds a bit FTL-ish, but that's fine by me. Sure, hungry. Yeah, money-grubbing son of a gun. And you have two galleys by Crimea. Yeah, thanks for the heads up there. They would have instantly died if I'd went to war with anyone. that I was in any uh, danger of them joining a coalition against me, but at least it's firmly out of the realms of possibility. Yeah, things are going almost too smoothly. I am considering the Great Wall of reduced coring cost, though. As in, might just keep the sporter with the Mamluks and start myself. Uh, no, I would have to fight the Mamluks. Okay, well, I'd fight them down here, then. Athens changes to Catholic. That might sound bad, but that could be what you call opportunity knocks. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, you've moved your capital, and I really want Ederine. For myself, that is. Jake, any possibility for a Mamluk-Timmy alliance? Do you mean with me, or those two together? Holy crap, the Mamluks are hitting uh, Tech 8 as well. Ederine must be mine. Nobody else's. All this coring is getting quite expensive, since I do want to increase my ideas. Sadly, at this point, it is just a case of wait. But we can wait a little less if we focus on admin. I think it's worth it. I want Nero on the throne, though, to the point where I'm going to stick the king in charge here. My manpower is coming back, so we really should get the men on the go. And we're recruiting men from this area. If we do get to the point where we centralize our unit production, we might as well have it done over here. Now what else are we doing? We're not going to do Athens, but instead we will, uh... Hmm. Focus on these disgusting Sunnis. Oh, come on, lads. You know, sometimes it just doesn't come together for me. And sometimes it does. That should be Kanak dealt with. Which is good. If this area uh, becomes my religion, then it's less of a kafaffle for me. Jake Power Projection calls for an insult. You got that right. Hey, Venice. This is what I think about you rubbing your republicanness in my face. That'll do us, but only for a couple of years. Do we have all of our embargoes in place? 
That's a straight up yes. All right, well, we have a bit of money, so calls for a few barks. Well, two barks, I guess. One good thing about not mothballing them is that I can still use my fleet for transporting our units around. Oh, shoot, it's uh, 09. Alright, we should be okay. Jake, annex Serbia. Serbia. Serbia! Annex and now, annex Serbia! Thanks for the heads up, folks. Shame I completely missed it, because I'm blind. Now the mission's going. Nothing worth my time. Uh, it is halfway tempting to actually convert to Sunni, but we're not doing that. Alexander is a living god, and we shall make him so. Wait, what is the exploit with the double missionaries? I don't understand. Uh, basically, you can buffer left... Uh, where's the Sally? Hold on. Again? You've already had it. Sure, let's just grow even bigger. <sighs> yeah, you can stick two missionaries on one province and convert it at double the speed. You do that by buffering left mouse button inputs on this screen whilst holding return at an autosave. Doesn't have to be an autosave, but it makes it easier. It's a neat little trick. It's one of my favourites in the game. So the Ottomans will still be holding on for a while, and that is Bulgaria gone. Get inside me. We're going to keep this on screen for a wee while, since it'll auto-trigger in something like six months. Until then, all this glorious, mostly sunny land for us, that is a shame. But it's mostly Constantinople, so that will give us a lot more money in this node. Oh yeah, a whole ducat. Cleansing of heresy against Hungary, but we won't be needing that. Uh, I really don't like having Vidin here. And he probably doesn't want it. Yeah. Wrong religious group. Ah, well, we'll just call it uh, Alexander's Halt now. Yeah. yeah, why not? Too big a name. Hold on. There we go. He loves naming places after himself, so that makes a bit of sense. Jake, which Epirus color do you like the most? Oh, Epirus is going to be as they are. You know, Epirus. It's a shame that they're Sunni. I wonder if I can do something about that. See, if I annexed and released them, then they would get Monastir, which is unacceptable. You know as a rival, but we can hopefully do Mamluks. Oh yeah, mother loving breadcrumbs. Uh, that means we have to lift our embargo from you and send it over to you. Good, I'll take it. And that is Serbia in with us as well, which means we can fire this guy, replace this lassie, Benedita Doria. If it weren't for Vidin, these would be some sexy looking borders. Now we've got Kosovo, which is lovely. It is very tempting to lower autonomy, but I'm not going to do that. We get their armies for free. Perhaps a little too much, actually. Hmm. I actually feel I'm a little short on horses. Alright. Let's take half of you and get rid of you, and the rest of you can all just huddle together here. We still don't have a connection to most of our lands, but that's acceptable. Can you sell Vedan to Hungary? No, because it's the wrong uh, religion.
They don't mind the Bulgarian, but they do mind the being Sunni part. What a crying shame. I suppose I could turbo convert it. Alright, now what about all these lazy diplomats we get? We've got the slightest chance to get you out of this coalition. But are there any claims that should or could be thrown down? The answer is always. Well, let's take Hamid. I would like ex I would like some claims on Mamluks, but I don't need them. Since Alexander had ambitions, son, and he had them down here. Hmm, that sounded a bit... well, never mind. If I can... hmm... I don't think any of my allies would be too keen on fighting you. Well, incredibly, you would. And you almost would. If I had that diplomat, Hungary would be all over my attack on the Mamluks. That just sounds quite nice. We should go and sink into the Mamluks soon. Jake, get Rhodes. It's five based. Ah, yes, of course. You are, however, allied with Venice, but that works for me because it means I can fight Venice without antagonizing Castile and nibble away Nexus. Which I will lose my claim on quite soon, no doubt. Thanks for the heads up there now. Rhodes, great idea. Haven't even thought what my second idea would be. Trade is probably for the better, since I can funnel everything over here. Alexander wasn't exactly a colonist. And military ideas. Ah, there's no need. We can uh, survive on Alexander's Gaul itself. Alright, it's a bit painful to do this over here just to get rid of a province. So we won't. We'll focus on uh, provinces that can actually be useful to us. having any luck with uh, the multiple missionary today. Normally it works so well. Ah, this is lovely. We get to Voutness. We can convert this land in a fraction of the time. No need for double missionary. Jake, have you ever played as knights and got the Kingdom of Jerusalem achievement? If so, how did you like it? I have not done it. And I probably wouldn't do it as the knights. I'd be more tempted to do it as Cyprus. Since I played Cyprus way back in um, Mayo, Back for Europa Universalis 3. Good times those were. Right, that claim will go away this year, as is often the case. I'd like Konya, please. Alright. The trouble is I would love to just go conquering, but the, uh, the lack of admin points is a little crippling. Speaking of crippling, I would love to cripple the man looks as well. Trade building in Canic. Already has the marketplace. Wait, why can't I build trade depot? Probably not enough money. I do have the money. What idea group do I have? Straight up religious. Okay, Austria and Hungary would get involved in this. England would be a pain, but we would trounce Venice. Ah, but maybe not on the high seas. Let us consider the uh, the numbers here for a bit. Venice has 50 galleys. There is no how, no way I could trounce them there, but I could separate piece them. And if I was fast enough to take Naxus, I could separate piece them for it. And I do really want it, because let's face it, it is mine by birthright. England would be another pain, but we could just beat off their armies as and when they arrive in Athens. It would be something of a long war, but we do actually need a long period of time to actually gain some points for a change. I'll think that through as I take a slight water break. Alexander was mortal as well, he needed those, so I'll be back in just a minute or two.
All right, we're back. Let's do this. Yeah, what was even my train of thought here? Take Rhodes, Poland would join in if I uh, <laughs> if I had the plus two diplomatic reputation. Is there anything else stopping them? Hmm. Hold on, am I actually married to these fellows? This could actually be a problem down the line, so let's uh, let's get those marriages in place. Sure enough, it doesn't help. That diplomatic reputation loss that I took really hurts. But it could be that when Venice gets involved, they would be more interested in fighting since it won't be so distant. I really need to improve these relations, though. Uh, hmm. You know what, let's just try. What I really want is... Ah, oh, Venice have their fleet here. And it would do terrible things to my fleet. I can't just demand Nexus, nor can I force them out. Their core is gone. Hmm. We'll bide our time, and our time will come. You were never married to Poland because you kept thinking they were Serbia. That sounds exactly like the mistake I would make. Truce with the Ottomans will be up before too long, but chewing on this Ottoman land costs me so much. And Austria has decided to go to war with something else. That's acceptable. And for that, people decided to coalition us. Okay, sure, if that's what it takes. That is a bit of a pity, though, because it suddenly means that uh, Crimea is a big chunk to deal with. Fortunately, Poland and Lithuania can be the ones to deal with it, but... Still, with all these wars that I have accepted the call to arms on, my trust is through the roof. Improving relations still would be a good idea. Get it back up with you guys. Jake, Ottoman, March. What? Ah, the Ottomans just allied Epirus. Protestant? I must have missed something there. Yeah, Protestant Reformation is on the go. Don't want that, though. Do not want Protestantism. Well, we can deal with that. I can't believe you, Epirus. Republican dictatorship. Jeez. He really is taunting me right now. Okay, we got a conquest against Venice, which does make me wonder, if it was against Venice, would you be more keen? No attitude towards enemies would be crushing us here. But we still th I still think we can take that on. Oh, right. Our boats get privateering that Venice node because it'll give us a slight bit of uh, power projection and Mamluks will throw them an insult. If they want to fight us over it, that's their prerogative. I meant to make him a march. Oh yeah. Hmm. He's super angry at me. But the trouble is I don't want him being Sunni. That just doesn't rub me the right way. Whatever it does, I guess, but that certainly doesn't. Alright, Mamluk's gearing up for Ottomans around three, I think. Not going to help people out with that, but good on them. Well, this period of relative peace is kind of good for us, I suppose. This, maybe not so much. The Swedes are storming us with their Space Marine troops. I guess I'll have to put them in their place. Oh, 
Oh, right. That's my entire navy right there, isn't it? And the Swedes have 10 galleys to our 15, but they're... Hmm. Well, at least it's freeing up some force limit for us, but if I lose these... Uh, cogs, that's gonna hurt. Uh, they brought a heavy to the stack as well. Bah. This isn't worth uh, losing our boats and men over. Alright, we need a bit of battle experience. Get to it. Kill Francesco for bonus points so we can have a good uh, ruler on the throne. Five shock. Sw um, Swedish general. All the time. Oh yeah. Hmm. That right now. Jake, what do you think of Hoy 3? Would you play it on stream? No, win for Hoy 4. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Form Italian nation is actually an option. Probably wouldn't be too bad a, uh, a way to go. But it is not what we're doing. Kind of keen on getting more barks on the go, though. Get that PP up. PP being power projection. You silly folks. Okay, so hopefully there will be peace in our time quite soon. I don't want a separate peace, but I also don't want this. I mean, I'm all about getting a bit of battle experience in these guys, but that might be going a bit too far. Relations are fairly good there. What are relations when we could have more claims? Hmm, claims, where exactly? Well, skew for one. Jake, Alexander was Greek. Why not culture shift? He might have been Greek, but Athens is not Greek. It's an important thing to remember. Hmm, Austria appeared to have some kind of Scandinavian ambition. Austrian Pomerania. Right, what's up now then? Wasn't I planning something devious? You're at war with Aragon, why? Aragon is claiming Rome. Puts Aragon at war with... Nobody that really matters to... Aragonese conquest of Rome? Yeah, okay, sure. I'll roll with it. Could just vassalize you straight up, but... I'm hungry with ambition. Pope wouldn't join in. Austria would, but Hungary now wouldn't. And this is hurting me in that regard. Jake, claim Crete. It's great. Alexander never held Crete. Uh, at least that's one thing we can pretty much all agree on. Uh, Austria just really don't have much of an army here. And this would separate my forces in a pretty bad way. It doesn't seem like a war that would be good for me at this stage. Especially since my fleet just got smashed. Yeah, I could get the advisor, but he's too expensive for me. Costs 240-odd straight up. Okay, time for some more PP. Question is, do we do it through Venice, or... No, Alexander will probably give us the goods. Yeah. Lovely. More, though because getting that power projection is good. I mean, it's free points. Why wouldn't you want it?
You only have to have him for a month and then fire him. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's an unacceptably high level of inflation. Pay it down a bit. Just imagine that we got some horrible events. Austria would join on your side, so fighting you is outside of the question. For now. Well, Muscovy would? Oh, that's something. England's joining <clears throat> because they're Defender of the Faith. Yeah, that's right. thing is I really want to flesh out my ideas, so I need to harvest as much admin as possible. Wow. Mamluks are getting terrifyingly strong here. I might just have to cut them up first. Greece, Epirus, Crimea would all join in. Of course, there is that uh, coalition to consider guess there'll be no peace in our time. Poland, Austria, Hungary. My brothers in arms, you just won't join in because of that annexed malarkey. Five years to go though, then it'll be gone. But that tells me, uh, yeesh, basically. Not so happy with you turning defensive towards me, though. That, uh, that'll turn you off of a man looking war. Oh, no. Trust counts for something huge these days. Oh, right. <laughs> Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. Crimea sure would be. I guess Aragon? Well, look at them, Aragorn are going to have the uh, the Pope at this rate. No, I think we'll uh, we'll go with Naples. Because that way we can probably hurt them with our privateers as well. Uh, PP took a bit of a hit there.